So we were solving questions in my previous videos. I solved questions related to mathematics, and now let us solve some of the questions related to science also. One physics question related to resistance. Today I am going to solve. This question came in tenth board examination of CBSC, and this is particularly related to calculation of total resistance in the circuit. So that total resistance. we all have studied about resistance which are connected in series and in parallel okay so this question is related to resistance which are connected in series and in parallel so the resistors which are connected in such a way one after another so these are called resistors connected in series the resistors which are connected in this way are called resistors connected in parallel so now the resistors which are connected in parallel and the resistors which are connected in series we need to find out separately we know that for the series connection when the resistors are connected in series total resistance when we want to find out total resistance r is equal to r1 plus r2 and so on up to n resistor right yes when we take resistors in parallel that is 1 by r is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 and so on plus 1 by rn right so here let us find out the resistance between a to b first total resistance total resistance between a to b let us name it as r a b so this will be equal to as r1 plus r2 so three resistors are there so this will be equal to 4 plus 6 plus 16 ohm so that will be equal to total 26 26 now resistance between b to c r b c so because this is connected in parallel so first we will write 1 by r b c is equal to 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 so this will give us as 2 by 8, and this will cancel. It has 1 by 4. So R B C will be equal to what? 4 ohm, right? Hmm. So the very first question was: Find the value of total resistance between the points A and B. so between the points a and b already we found 
that the resistance is 26 ohm. Now, second question, find the resistance between the points B and C. So, B and C, we found the resistance as 4 ohm. 4 ohm. So, now this circuit can also be written as once that is RAB that is 26 ohm then another resistance that is 4 ohm that is RBC and then 6 volt battery P is there like this ok fine So this is A and this is B and this is C. So total resistance between A to C now it will be, we can also write it as RAC is equal to 26 plus 4 that will be 30 ohm. Right? Already we are given that it is 6 volt battery and if we want to convert again after this 30 ohm resistor, so 30 ohm resistor and then like this the circuit will be converted, ok, yes. The circuit will be converted A to like B. Third is what written C that is calculate the current drawn from the battery when the key is closed. Current drawn from the battery when the key is closed. So we will be needing RAC ohm, RAC resistance that is total resistance and total resistance is 30 ohm. So in this case we want to find out, so R will be 30 ohm, that is total resistance R equivalent. We can mention it as R equivalent, equivalent 30 ohm. Okay, and uh, what is the potential difference it is given to us B is equal to 6 volt. We need to find what? I, when the key is closed. So we know that as per Ohm's law, as per Ohm's law, V is equal to IR is the formula. So I if we want to find out then V by R and V is equal to 6 divided by R is total 30 Ohm. Okay, 5. So I will be equal to 1 by 5 or we can say that 0 0.2 ampere 0 0.2 ampere so this current I will be equal to 0 0.2 ampere right second what it says in the above circuit the 16 ohm resistor or the parallel combination of two resistors of 8 ohm. The 16 ohm resistor, right, or the parallel combination of two resistors of 8 ohm. Which one of the two will have more potential difference across its two ends? Right? Justify your answer. So we need to find out the potential difference in this case. Across 16 ohm what will be the potential difference? And across this combination of two resistors of 8 ohm which are in parallel, what will be the potential difference? Okay, so we can find out the potential
cancel difference that is B is equal to IR okay as we know that in series connections in series connection the voltage will be difference potential difference will be potential difference will be occurring between each resistor whereas current remains same current remains same so across each resistor the potential difference will be different right ok so now inside only I will do it so I is equal to 0 0.2 ampere is constant across the circuit right this potential difference of 6 volt will be having a different value across each resistor so that we can find out so V across 16 ohm resistor will be equal to IR that is 0 0.2 into 16 ohm so it will be equal to 8 volt ok so sorry sorry no no it is not 8 volts 0 0.2 into 16 so it will be 3.2 3.2 it will be right 3.2 volt will be the potential difference across 16 ohm and here for the resistors which are in parallel we found that it is equivalent to 4 ohm then we can find out V across this 4 ohm will be equal to again 0 0.2 into 4 so this will be given to us as 0 0.8 volt ok 0 0.8 volt so we found that the resistance across 4 ohm resistor is 0 0.8 volt and across the 16 ohm 3.2 ok so which one of the two will have more potential difference so more potential difference will be across 16 ohm yes across 16 ohm will be having more potential difference of 3.2 volt more potential difference VD it is only because the resistance it is creating more ok the resistance is towards higher value ok so that is the reason uh, this potential difference is also more similarly we can also find out across this 4 ohm first 4 ohm so this will be 0 0.8 only it will be 0 0.8 only when we are talking about 6 so at that time also we can find out that V across 6 ohm is equal to 0 0.2 correct hmm. 0 0.2 into 6 so this will be 1.2 volt now when we go for adding you see that the total potential difference of 6 volt the total potential difference of 6 volt has got divided so across 4 ohm it is 0 0.8 across 6 ohm it is equal to 1.2 across 16 is equal to 3.2 then across V is equal to 4 ohm again it is 0 0.8 and we see that total it will be so 12, 8, 20 and 3, 1, 4, 2, 6 so 6 volt of potential
sexual difference has got divided as per the one value of resistor. Okay, so in series circuit, in series current is same, potential difference will be different in parallel circuit. Potential difference is same across all the resistors, current will be changing. So we do have in our home parallel connections. Okay? What do we have in our home? Parallel connection. All these fans, tube lights, fridge, AC, all these are actually resistors. So in this way, we arrived to the conclusion and by having an analytical approach we solve this question ok fine thank you if you have liked my video kindly do not forget to share